Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sophie. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a very requested house tour. Since fall is coming up, the family and I might, you know, renovate the house for fall. So I was thinking that it would be best to give you guys a house tour. This house is super cool, a lot of custom furniture inside, and it is built by me. In today's video, I will give you guys, you know, a full detailed tour of the house. And then at the end of the video, I'll make sure to give the layouts and the cost of the build, all those details. But other than that, I guess we should get started. Okay, so if we look outside, we've got a lot of custom plants, furniture, all that kind of stuff and so yeah we've got these custom plants these are decals if i can find the codes i will put these in the description below so over here we've just got a lovely little seating area for the family very cool as well as this little tire swing we've got going on over here the kids love to use this this is probably one of my favorite things that bloxburg has in the game anyways um we don't really have too much outside, just kind of the exterior mostly, but speaking of the exterior, I will give you guys a quick shot of that and all the walls around it just so you can get a really detailed view in case you guys want to recreate this or something. That's pretty much it for the exterior, so now I guess we can go on inside. The theme for this house was coastal as, you know, I was seeing it around a lot and I thought that this was just a super cool beachy theme for the house. And the house is a beach house, so I thought, why not? Anyway, so when you walk in, you know, you have these stairs over here with this super cool welcome aboard decal thing, which I will link in the description. Then we have, you know, a custom rug. And by the way, all these are custom floors. Um, I'll try and find the codes. Um, if I can't, I'm so sorry. But yeah, here we've got these chairs. These are actually, um, I think it's called the industrial chair. Sorry if I'm wrong. And then I just did some structural rods on them to make them look a bit more cool. And over here we've got um, my surfboard just hanging on the wall with some poles just to hold it up. And as you can see, this wall trim is custom made. Very cool. Um, it's not too difficult to make, so if you want, you can have a go at making that. Anyway, so that's it for the dining room. Very, not too complicated, bit simple. But then, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the house. We have the kitchen. It is super nice, very blue theme. As you can see, it is very custom. And over here, we just have these flowers that I actually got from a TikTok. So credits to whoever made that first. And then up here are just some custom hanging lights. As I thought that kitchens had a lot of those and it would really fit the aesthetic. Then over here, you know, we've just got this custom mixer thing, which I thought was cool, as well as a custom decal vase just to add a bit more realism anyways that's about it for the kitchen over here we have a coffee station which is super handy to use in the mornings but yeah that's basically all for the kitchen then over here we have the office now this is very custom you can see that we've got a special skylight roof hollow gable roof um, and I just used the new transform tool to create this. If you guys want a tutorial on this roof, just comment down below and I can give you guys that. Anyways, then we've just got more custom floors. We've also got these doors that lead to over here, which is outside. This nice little balcony that you can just sit at, you know, relax. But yeah, same thing, we've got these custom lights again, and I used a box light to use an actual light instead of just having a floating shape. But yeah, that's basically it for the office, very cool. So now we can go on and head outside to the backyard. 
this is another favorite part of my house um so first we've just got the pool over here and i'm not sure but i found this on instagram it's a little volleyball pool thing so credits to whoever um created that idea which is super cool then you know we've just got a lot of pool floaties and this basketball hoop which is like supposed to be a floaty more custom plants you know that's just kind of the theme we had going on here a bit realistic then we've just got another basketball hoop as well as a soccer goal for jake you know soccer trials are coming up soon at school and he wants to be prepared for those then if you walk across this path we have our special sauna now this is very cool as you know it's kind of hidden away from the backyard so unless you walk over here you will not really see it but yeah that's pretty special so you know that was pretty good for the summer but now fall is coming sadly but it's okay anyways then we've just got a life flow in case something happens that's pretty much it for the backyard although we do have this little kitchen in case we want to have barbecues for the summer all that stuff but yeah that's basically it for the backyard very cool and oh if you see over here this is another custom fence so as we go through the build you'll notice a lot of custom furniture and stuff as i really love it and it lets you be creative with your build as well as these counters if we just take a closer look these have got some structural items on them as you can see we've got these little rod things but yeah anyways enough about the outside let's continue so over here we have just a little storage room for all the kids stuff like we've got some umbrellas another one of jake's soccer balls in the cabinet not too much is going on in here but as we continue through the house now we have the living room this room is super cool and as you probably noticed the fireplace is also custom built i just used a decal for the fire and then these couches these are one of those couches that you put together and then i just added a little rod over it just to add a bit more realism and then same thing just some custom paintings over here as well yeah not too much happening here you know custom um windows and blinds though if i remember the decals i will add them in the description guys anyways then over here we have the bathroom now this bathroom is super nice very cool as you can see we've got this flower thing again not too much going on in here but we do i did use those rods again to create like a hanging painting over above the toilet and then we'll go over to the garage there's not really anything in here it's just pretty boring we've just got you know some cars um a little basket for the beach and then just some storage over here so not much happening but then if we go back into the house this is still a work in progress but we have a guest bedroom in case someone comes over to stay um pretty basic you know not too much happening in here it will be getting done soon we just haven't had much time anyways then if we go on through the house it's time to go upstairs actually so here's the upstairs a lot of custom stuff again as you can tell like over here we have this window that goes out onto the roof which i find very cool and then we've just got this little balcony thing in case anyone wants to sit out here and you know watch the sunrise sunset whatever so if we come over here we will enter lucy and jake's room now as you can tell this is very similar to our old house um i think it was the first house that i introduced on the channel um the first family house of course um so if you notice any similar things that's why i just really loved that room and the kids wanted to recreate it in this house so i thought why not anyways so we've got a race car bed um i did not make this i think i found it on youtube so credits to whoever thought of this idea first which i thought was very cool by the way 
And same with this bed. I think I found this one on TikTok. Credit me if I'm wrong. But yeah, I thought it was super cool. And I just used a sleeping bag to create the bed under here, by the way. And it is using custom furniture to make these both, by the way. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'll just give you guys another look in case you want to get some more details. Continuing on, next to their room, we have Vivian's room. Now, this room is quite coastal as she was really loving the theme and so we thought we'd stick to it. But over here, we just have her vanity where she likes to film Get Ready With Me sometimes. Um, then, you know, we've just got her laptop where she can do some work, but we do have her surfboard hanging up here. Yeah, not too much going on in here. We still got the custom floors and carpets going around, but yeah. And for the windows, these are a normal type of window. I just added some structural items for this little line across there. Um, and then same with this for the outside of that, but yeah, that's pretty much it for her room. Now, if we come over here, we've just got this little yoga area, which I like to do yoga in the mornings. See? Very cool. But now with fall coming, I won't be doing too much as it will be getting a bit colder. Anyways, now over here we have Lucas's nursery. I've got to say, this is pretty cool. Like, look at this. This is a custom change table. It's still one of the usual ones. I just added a little bit of basic shapes just to create a nicer effect. Then we just have a toy box, custom built again using the transform tool. That is very helpful when you want to be making a custom build. And then we've just got his room overlooking the pool. Very nice view, by the way. But yeah, and here's a closer look in case you wanted that. And now we're coming on to the last room of the house, which is me and Cole's. This bed is super cool. We decided to go for a different color scheme in here as we thought, why not? I love this bed color. It is super nice and it really goes with our house. Just gives it a pop of color, as I said. And then, yeah, we've just got some custom doors that lead out here. I'm um, not sure why that's there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we've just got another surfboard hanging up. This is the usual plan. I just added some basic shapes. You kind of get the idea. A lot of the stuff is repeated, like these dressers. Just, I love them so much. As well as this painting, by the way. But yeah, I think that's really the house tour coming to an end. And if you're wondering, these are doorbells that I use to create the handles. Um, there's not really much else going on in the build. But yeah, we'll just come out to the balcony. You can kind of see that. And there's sand on the roofs, just like to represent that it's a beach house. Um, yeah, not really much going on. I'll show you guys a bit more of the outside in case you needed it. Like we've just got our cars, custom plants over here, you know, some vines hanging off, all that kind of stuff. But now that we're coming to the end of the build, I will show you guys the layouts. So let's get on to it. And for those of you that wanted to know, the total cost of this plot is 797000 This is with cars though, so the price may differ. But um, yeah, that's basically it on this house tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if you have any more videos or content you want to see in the upcoming weeks. But um, yeah, see you all next time. Goodbye!